Um, so it'll be interesting to see. And this type of Peach is a different monster from like the lower level one you're probably used to watching, right? Well, exactly. Yeah. These really quick ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. All right, getting into game one. Back on Battlefield. Lots of Battlefield starts this tournament. Uh, I mean, you're on the East Coast. It's going to happen. Uh, starting <laughs> off now, Peach can crouch cancel a lot of Sheik's stuff. Same can go the other way. However, uh, Sheik doesn't really want to be holding down here that much, which is unfortunate for Sheik because she likes to hold down. Oh, yeah. Uh, that first exchange, uh, Lana Del Cray went for the fair on shield to nothing, which is sort of uncommon. We see the slaps all the time. Sometimes we'll see uh, grab. That time, nothing. See how that uh, evolves throughout the set. Right. You see it come up a lot because Sheik will find herself stuck in shield because the Sheik has a difficult time coming forwards in a useful way. You can see right there, Sheik tries to come in with an aerial, kind of gets stuffed. Yep. Again, he's stuck on the top platform here, so uh, that's going to make things a little easier for him. Oh, throws the turn up straight up, gets hit with a forward air in retaliation. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice forward air. Uh, catching Peach, getting the first stock for Jorge so far. Yep, Jorge going to uh, pick up his first stock of the match here. Now. Uh, he's going to, yep, exactly what he's doing right now. He's going to try and go for a fade back forward air. Oh. Okay. Hey, is this is this setup lagging? We've got a lot of SDs. <laughs> Everybody okay? I think it's just the Children's nerves. Children's getting wobbled. What's going on here? I think it's just the nerves from playing on stream. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. So the down smash from Sheik, very risky, especially with such a controlled move. But I guess since Peach was in like a hit-stun scenario, she was okay to run it. Very difficult to edge guard Peach. Mm. Jorge still goes for a fair. I was thinking up air, maybe. Wow, really dives out there. Yeah, Jorge seems like a deep-sea diver. Uh, he also looks like he takes full advantage of his aerials. He's not looking to snuff out any approaches with forward tilt um, or up tilt. I don't see any of those. I'm just looking for only aerials like forward tilt. Yeah, we're getting fair and air and bear on a lot of it. Uh, yep, it's the setup. You're right. It's the setup. It has <laughs> to be. Somebody figured out. Is it just because it pulls, or hey, what's going on? I like the little fair to re-grab. This is Ooh. almost a huge stock. Corey really turning it on, coming back so far. Yeah, that, that chain SD was kind of rough, so yeah. he's able to bring it back. That's awesome. It's, oh, 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 hello. Hello, beautiful. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> it was nice while it lasted. Hold the bomb on stream. Better to love than have lost. <sighs> that's right. That up air was well spaced. Yeah, for that sure. That was like amazing. I almost feel like <laughs> Jorge probably must have tried to put out an aerial or something. I think he tried a forward air and he just straight up lost. Yeah. Because of the way he came in at that diagonal uh, approach, that's where Sheik's forward air goes. So if you time the peach up there properly, sorry, I was very concerned about that situation. Uh, yeah, I thought we were going to see another SD. No, yeah. no, for sure. And you know, uh, Lana Del Cray playing that style we're talking about, playing the lead, getting those trades. And even though this stock is gone, already 90% on Jorge in an excellent position to close out the match. Still pulling turnips. Uh, kind of just forward airs right on the shield, but he's only going to get a neutral air out of it. Uh, too scared to kind of go for like anything crazy. Hold ledge. Wow, went back. He could have probably read that, but also people tend to go high on their last stock, so. It's also safe to just kind of reset anyway because of the, the advantage you're at. So I think, it's fine. I'm thinking about what you said. People tend to go high on the last stop. I think you're right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. I, I never, like, actually thought that. Like, I, never, I never said those words before. Yeah, people people tend to go high on their last stop. That's for sure. Because it's true. if you're, like, playing Fox Dittos, for example, and you're about to get back throw shined, you're going to go high. You're just scared. Yeah. Also, people tend to do this. They just double jump air dodge instantly after getting thrown off. I do that um, on every stock. Yeah, so double jump air dodge <laughs> is like a big thing people do too. But anyway, back to game two. Again, run back, battlefield. Uh, so Lana Del Cray taking the first game. A lot of SDs from Jorge and just a rough play. Uh, I do think Jorge has what it takes to win the set. No problem. Just going to take a little bit of composure. Yeah, and you know, he started off this game very well, proving your point even more. Uh, Lana Del Cray has him on a platform. Not able yeah. to hold on to that position too long. No, he should be just fine holding it right here. Uh, waits for the neutral air. Almost gets him with the back air. Uh, not quite, though. Wow. Bermuda Easy triangle the eye. That is a semi-spike hit straight to the side. A Sheik that's hard to hit is almost impossible to play against sometimes. Oh, yeah. Trying to make themselves very hard to hit, and then the second they get an opening, they're carrying you with a beautiful knockback on their on her move. So it's so nice. But. Okay, oh, wow. dash back grab. Just gets a free upper, 29%. Kind of jumped aggressively there for no true reason. <laughs> uh, a little bit of 
overly zealous he, behavior. Yeah, he perhaps. probably just thought he had something that he didn't, which yeah. is fine. Because that's what this game's all about. Every single time you get put, you put yourself in a situation, you tend to recognize it when it doesn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, hey, that thing doesn't work. Cool. No, no. And true discipline is actually learning from it or not. Mm. Speaking of that, four stocks to two. Definitely a turnaround. Yeah, Jorge's conversions have been very strong. Uh, a lot of Valkyrie, like, kind of hasn't really landed very often <laughs> after getting yeah, hit no. initially. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think we've seen a game three yet, so... No. Ooh, that's hard to think about. Yeah, I think we've only seen 20s. But we're in round three now, so we are much farther along in the bracket. Yeah, people are actually not Closer so one-sided. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be, yeah, I like the idea of the jab. I was thinking jab down smash. Um, but nice fade, actually, by Lana Del Prey. Yeah, expertly avoided. Yeah. Skillfully dodged. And that's the kind of um, very micro style peach floating is necessary to be a strong peach player. Yeah. Uh, you need to be in a range where it's like the other player is tricked and going, oh, I hit that. You don't hit that. Yeah. <laughs> Not too many players can master that. And Peach's hitbox was nice, it's even a little better when floating, right? Because the, the legs tuck up a little bit and everything. Yeah, and that turn up pull was very overzealous on the platform. Uh, you saw yeah. it the second the turn up came, Jorge was like, oh, cool, free fair. Yeah, a lot of Peaches, like you said uh, earlier on on our block today, uh, a matchup that they might not win neutral in with a turn up they probably do. Yeah. Uh, big danger is Peaches really want to pull that turn up. If you're too close to your opponent and they're looking for it, it could be a punish. Yeah. yeah. That's a big part of the strategy for a lot of different players in a lot of matchups. That's for sure. Peach. So now we're looking at our first game three for our one. Our first game three. I don't know if we're going to run it on Battlefield the whole set. We are going to go to Fountain of Dreams. This is a Peach counterpick after all. Yep. Meaning it's safe to say that maybe Dreamland was banned? I would assume so. Uh, still a higher ceiling here. This should be a little bit more survivability for Peach, but not much, because that forward hair does hit straight to the side. That's where a lot of the KOs have been coming from. Yeah, but you also don't want to go to Stadium for that same reason, because the side blast zones are shorter, so yep. you don't really want to get uh, slapped in the face. Uh, for sure, this is the oh. Peach pick. Up smash to the platform, neat. That's pretty nice. There's a neutral B stall happening in the magnifying glass here. A little trade. Yeah. Back air doesn't do it yet, but this is how Peach edge guards go. You have to rinse and repeat many times over. Yep. But you'll eventually get it. Yep. Just gotta stick to it. Even if they do get back, look at all that damage you racked up. Don't get tilted, it'll be okay. Uh, but still, Jorge closes it out, and Lana is going to be holding the center still. Wow! Okay, so we are noticing the early double jumps from Jorge because, well, Lana Del Frey hasn't been punishing them very hard. There, it was a call out. Yep. Nothing short of a call out. And that could definitely turn the tide of this last match and the entire set. We'll continues. see, though. It's going to depend on what Jorge's decision making is, especially if he brings us to a three stock to two scenario right now uh, with the ad, but with the advantage he's got. Yeah, there was a slight mistake before on that edge guard. Um, Peach is really weak on the ledge. Uh, so if you're going to do an edge guard, you want her to either land on the ledge or be taken out. Fair to do the trick, not just yet. Still a very high percent. He just needs one more clean aerial. There it is. He's going to do it right out of shield. Falls to the, uh, under the platform. And that's a forward air. Now three stocks to two in Sheik's favor. Dash dance with the grab. Nice mash. Yep, quick match. Actually gets himself a little punish out of it. But not really enough to go crazy for. And you know, each stock, Jorge is progressively pulling a little bit farther ahead. Yeah, and that's the, that's the beauty of neutral exchanges. Nair's going to push Corey off the stage. Can he make it back? Goes up to the platform. Backer's going to send him back off again on the left side. Yep. Hanging in the corner, a roll from Peach actually saying, hey, here, have stage. It's yours. Take it. Took a lot of smash guy in that actually helped Corey continue that punish. Uh, it might have been on accident, but yeah. yeah. Oh, I assume it's on accident, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's the up air. So I'm knock him out. Ah, it's still doable for Lana to pray, no problem. Oh, there's a jump gun. Yeah, making it back is going to be the very important snipe. for the chances of this game. Does make it back into the center of the stage. Down tilt has a good amount of trajectory on where it sends you for that forwarder to come out. And Sheik is fast enough to cover it. Oh. Coming back okay. with air dodges. Popular option for Peaches. Oh, man, what does Lana Pray do here? Just keep trying to come back. It must be really frustrating coming back again and again. Jorge able to finish off the edge guard after quite a long string. Okay, down sure. smash, big damage. We need a lot of damage from Lana Del Frey fast in order to bring this back. And oh, that's, that's exactly what we're getting. And that's the technical play that I was looking for three games ago. Is it too late? I'm unsure. 
that punish was amazing. I mean, that's that's what you're looking for on a top peach punish game. Oh, wow. Loses the jump. Loses the jump. It's going to do it 2-1 for our friend Jorge. And he's going to advance in round two pools. Uh, I actually like that match a lot. It was yeah. our first game three. Uh, you see Lana Del Cray opening up very early on. 